march against issues of uh, state capture and corruption and job losses. Before the march, Kosato President Zdumo Dlamini had said the mass action had nothing to do with factional battles or politics, but about the plight of workers. However, the removal of President Jacob Zuma was also mentioned with the organization touting Cyril Ramaphosa as an ideal president. Kosato President Zdumo Dlamini hailed the march as success, but joining us now to talk about the march itself, we joined in our studios in Johannesburg by Kosato's General Secretary, uh, Bekin Jalin. Babin Jalinjali, good morning to you and thank you so much for coming through. Good morning and good morning to your listeners. Thank you so much indeed. Are you happy as uh, Kosatu with how things weren't um, yesterday in the, te the, the ten up, ten out? Insofar as the organizational and the expectation, yes, we are happy. But the matter that we're uh, protesting against is still exists, is still there. So it's a long journey that we need to travel together with the society as a whole to highlight the impact, the negative impact of the state capture and the, and the corruption. So we're happy that workers wanted to be part of that uh, uh, contribution to raise their voice, and I think they did very well. Yeah, and there were also calls made, as you say, for more matches of, 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 of that nature. We've also heard yourself saying that if workers are not happy with how uh, the ANC responds to their needs, they should even take it up upon themselves to match the ANC itself. In, indeed, the issue is not uh, an, an event. We have said so it's going to be a process, a long process, because those who are the beneficiaries of state capture and corruption, they're going to resist. So... Workers understood that this is not an event. We have to march. We have to raise our voices everywhere where it matters. Yeah. Th there, in fact, yesterday some of your members were saying that they will not be participating um, at the march itself because it looks like Kosatu has shifted away from its primary mandate. Have you considered that, that you sort of you know, shifted away from uh, representing the workers in South Africa? Not at all, because what was happening yesterday is the mandate of the workers themselves. So from where we are, we get the mandate from the workers. We've been addressing a number of shops to a number of workplaces. Not a single one has said, no, I'm not going to be part of this particular... Precisely because workers understand that uh, corruption will affect the most. They are going to be the first victims of any corruption. They are experiencing it uh, through their... Uh, uh, schooling of their children, where the teacher will say, I have no instrument to teach. They experience it in the hospitals where there is no linen, there is no medication and etc. So we will appreciate workers when they can come up and say their views in any way. We take the mandate from them. But most of our members enjoy this particular, you could see them in the, in the matches. They were very, very excited that at least they are raising their voices. Yeah, but don't you think, uh, I mean, the, the, the Kosato president himself, Sumo Dlamini, before the march, uh, said it wasn't politically motivated, it wasn't about any factionalism, but it was purely for the interest of workers. And yet we've seen calls being made in the march that uh, President Jacob Zuma should step down. We know that's the call that Kosato has been making. We've also had, uh, in some provinces, people endorsing Deputy President Cyril Ramaphosa. So it sort of went the political way, whereas the president had said, no, it's got nothing to do with politics is interrelated. You can't separate entirely the workers' interest from politics, everything that they involve in. From their wages, there has to be classes. There's a working class, there's a, a capitalist class. Those are the politics. The wage that you earn are the politics. The mere fact that the majority of our people are staying away from the workplaces, they have to spend about 30 percent of their money just to travel to the workplaces, is part of the politics. So there's a political economy where people are involved in. So there will be no proper or a, a, a Berlin or Chinese wall that says politics this side and the economics on the other side. They are related. Kosati from its initiative, from its beginning, it says it wants to be a militant, a transformative trade union, meaning that we refuse to be just a gumboots a trade union or bread and butter issues. It's both. The mere fact that we're talking about Free education is politics. Mm. So the question of when an alliance is politics, the question as to who become the president of the country for the interest of the workers is politics. So you do agree uh, that, uh, in fact, the match was not just on state capture, but it was also looking at the presidential succession of the African National Congress? 
I'm, I'm saying you can't separate the two. Cosati have taken a decision in terms of who they think should be the, the president, next president in dealing with those issues. Because they want a government that would be sympathetic to their interest. You can't be living in an isolation. If you, you move away from it, then it means the capitalist class will capture the government and the interest of those who are, have the means of protection will take over. So it has to be contested areas. But it is a state capture uh, that we're marching on. It's about corruption that we're marching. And its impact, we're not just talking about it in isolation. We said, what does state capture means to jobs? We're told uh, 27 or 29 billion per annum is being lost, meaning that about 76,000 jobs could have been created if the money was not diverted to, 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 to the corruption. Mm -hmm. The service delivery, which affects our members, if corruption uh, goes in there, we are going to be the first that two are going to suffer. So there is no Berlin Wall in between the two. We have to deal with both of them. Yeah. A and uh, Kosato President again, Stumad Lamini, called for a Trapetite uh, Alliance Summit to discuss the crisis in the ANC. Is it not a little bit late because we've seen Kosato making its pronouncements on certain issues? Do you think it's still early days or, or rather early fall? For, for this summit to take place? The, 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 the alliance itself is a contested area. There are four organizations involved in this, in this alliance. We were of the view that the division within the ANC, which we, we regarded that there are divisions, make it very difficult for the alliance to, to meet and do what it was established to do. We think between the, the period between now and December, it's going to be very difficult for the ANC to be able to convene the alliance. Hence, we're saying the other alliance partners should take that initiative and set what needed to be done precisely to help the ANC itself. So, yes, we're, call, we're making those calls, but I think the hopes are fading that we're going to have that meeting uh, before December, but we're not losing hope. Why is it the case? Why do you think there's no hope for a meeting before December? Because the, the ANC is the leader of the alliance from the previous one. They were day that we set it up. They could not be met because the ANC has not done that. We've been writing letters to the ANC saying convene the, the, the alliance uh, secretariat so that it can be able to look at this particular problem. Mm -hmm. There's been no positive response. That's so are why. you worried with how the relations are turning up within the alliance itself? No, we're worried. We're saying that uh, at the lowest. I mean, that is a uh, the public uh, is in the public domain. We're not meeting, and the alliance is not working as it's supposed to. All right, and we'll leave it at that for now, but thank you so much for talking to us. I know that you had indicated that you requested a meeting with the Minister of Finance to look into the issue of the PIC. Has the meeting been granted? We were not in the office yesterday, so we don't know. We wrote a letter two days ago. So, so he hasn't we, responded as yet. You're we not don't sure know he as, we, as we speak okay. whether he has responded. Okay, we'll leave it at that. Thank you so much for coming through. Well, there you have it. Uh, that's in Peking, Jalin Jali. Kosatu's uh, General Secretary talking to us about the march that took place yesterday on state capture and corruption. We're taking a break here on Morning Live. We'll be analyzing the march after the break. Stay tuned. <laughs>